Today is a commemoration of St. Gregory the Armenian. He was born in the city of... Yep, yeah, you guessed it, Armenia. His dad's name was Anak, and sadly he was put to death, but luckily for St. Gregory and for his brother, they escaped. And as he grew up, he became a pious and holy man. He excelled greatly in philosophy and served in the royal court of a famous king whose name was King Tiridates. One day, the king came to St. Gregory and said, Gregory, offer incense to the idols. But Gregory, with all his passion, with all his faith and, his, and with all enthusiasm said, No, I am a Christian. I am the son of God. And the king, obviously being the king, pagan, was furious at this. Furious! The king ordered for the saint to be tortured. But knowing Lord Jesus, he never forsakes his children and healed him. And at this sight, the king was furious and ordered for St. Gregory to be put in a pit, a very deep one. And for 15 years he stayed in there. But the Lord never, never forsook him. He reminded this widow that every day she would cut up a piece of bread and put it inside. Long story short, the king killed a virgin whose name was Epsimo. And he regretted his decision. Why? Because he wanted to marry her. So he asked some of his uh, accompanies on what he should do. So they said to him, go hunting. Go hunting in the forest. So he went hunting in the forest and as he was on his horse, you know, galloping through the forest, he was possessed by many demons. And he, what, what did he do? He began to bite himself. Bite himself. Very weird thing. His voice was heard throughout all the kingdom. His sister, on the other hand, had three consecutive nightmares in a row of an angel telling her to go and get Gregory from the pit or else her brother would not be healed. So she went and took three soldiers with her and they went to the pit and released Gregory. Her brother was healed except for one small alteration. He had a mark on his body that reminded him of his painful past. Well, what can we learn from this? A couple of things. One, obviously go and bite yourself. Two, is that God never leaves his children and his timing should never be questioned. Because God knows everything and he's omnipresent, omniscient and omnipotent. May his prayers and blessings be with us all. Amen.